we knew it'd be very competitive. The, the first 20 minutes was going to be full of uh, white hot heat, really, you know, and uh, it was a competitive game. Uh, I think 16 all half time was a reflection of how competitive both teams were in the first half. But second half, I think our quality really, really came through. Yeah, brilliant to get that five points. We need all the points we need at the moment to get in that top four. Uh, so we're pushing on for that. Uh, and uh, yeah, we didn't go out there. We wanted the win at the end of the day. We need to take each game as it comes. And to get the bonus point is a real uh, no, bonus. <laughs> no. As you said, level pegging at half time. What did you say at half time? Because the guys came out and there was a, a, a sense of renewed vigour. Well, I think uh, at that point we knew that if we could score in the next 10 minutes, the game would break. Um, and it was really more of the same. We'd done some really good things in the first half, a little bit of tinkering with our defence, a little bit of tinkering with our attack, but pretty much we, we did the right things in the first half. It was just about keep keep going with it. Yeah, the boys were frustrated at half-time, if I'm honest. You know, we, they were in the, still in the game. We felt like we had you know, the majority of possession and we were creating all the chances. Uh, but we knew if we stuck to our guns, stuck to our game plan, and we increased the pace, of the game that they, you know we could uh, overtake them with our fitness and I think that really showed in that last 20, 10, 20 minutes and yeah we just stay confident in our own ability nobody lost their heads and uh, yeah I was happy with the win. And how key was it to get that first point in the second half? Yeah it was critical it's what we aimed for uh, we put, put ourselves in good field position to do that and uh, fair play to the forwards that pulled off a very good drive. You're fifth in the table at the minute. London Scottish, I think, is seventh, just two below you. Um, they came out fighting hard, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, they were in at half time, uh, and I think if it was this point a couple of weeks ago with us, we might, we might have uh, come out and maybe they'd have uh, beaten us. But I think we've really turned a corner now since that Nottingham defeat and tough defeat here at Mosley. I think we've really turned a corner and le learned a lot of lessons, and uh, I think we showed that tonight, showing our spirit in that second half. That you know, that, that no giving, not giving up. And uh, yeah, going the full 80 minutes, we had that ruthless edge to, ruthless edge to us tonight, uh, which uh, was enjoyable. As you said, it, the, the forwards, there was glimpses of it in the first half, the forwards having that little bit of ascendancy, but it, it became too clear in the second half. Those two powerful driving walls and, and the two tries, you must have been very happy. Yeah, look, I think um, our forward pack are, are in good physical condition. They've got a lot of capacity for work, so they're always going to come to the fore later on in the uh, in the first half, in the second half. But there was good balance to our game today. I thought the the backs provided enormous threat and our forwards were just powerful, very direct. So for me, a good balance uh, for tonight's game. And dare I say it, uh, slightly New Zealand-esque in the way you counter, always looking to go wide and uh, attack the channels. Uh, we, we wanted to threaten tonight. Um, we didn't get that opportunity last week because of the, the dreadful conditions, but with a dry night uh, under the spotlights, we really wanted to put some threat to the game. And as you said, dry Friday night lights, the players love it, don't they? Oh, they're great occasions here. Yeah. Any game in the Memorial Stadium is an occasion for any player who plays here, but Friday night lights, they're the, the perfect occasion. And of course, five points, full five points in this game. Uh, we would have been happy with four, but five is, is a bonus, obviously, but it just helps us uh, in our attack on the, the teams above us. And in terms of winning momentum, three on the bounce now? Yeah, it's something for us to build on. Big game next week against Bridge End away. Something for us to build on top of. And of course, um, great to see so many fans out on what we let's say a pretty bitter night. Yeah, supporters were fantastic tonight. Good group uh, on a Friday night for us, and uh, they spur you on, particularly the second half. Uh, you know, we can't underestimate the value. I'd say a bonus point try got to go to our fans. Now, three games on the bounce. Um, in terms of winning momentum, that's quite big going into the British and Irish Cup. Definitely, yeah. We. We've been looking at the, uh, this season out each game at a time, and uh, we've got to, you know, celebrate this win today. Enjoy our wins with a smile on our face. But come Monday when we get in, review this game, and then we want to pretend in the British Irish Cup. We're going to be, you know, they're not going to lay down for us. Uh, they're a tough team, pretend good outfit, good young players, and we'll be looking forward to play them now at the brewery field.